What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Tesla stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and I will show you how we caught this movement uh, to the upside for about 15% uh, of potential profits and how we caught uh, this movement to the downside. And I've told you on my previous video that we should have a retracement if we won't break uh, with the next attempt uh, this range of resistance. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what should we expect uh, from the technical standpoint. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this point, when we had the first attempt uh, to break uh, this range of resistance, and I marked this range by uh, connecting these two tops at the price point of roughly $313.5. And I've told you that these two candles imply a bearish candle if we switch to 8 hours time frame. As you can see, on uh, 4 hours time frame, we have movement to the upside and then immediate movement to the downside to the same exact range. And uh, this was quite a bearish uh, signal. And I've told you that if we won't break uh, with the next attempt at this range of uh, resistance, we will see lower price targets. And we have it. Uh, right here, this next candle was with the high, with quite high volume as you can see and uh, this was uh, the point where you could uh, eliminate your position and uh, right here as you can see we have this movement to the downside and on my previous video I've told you that if you are bullish enough on Tesla you could accumulate your position on these levels 0 0.382, 0 0.5 and 0 0.61 and 0 0.65 it is a golden pocket range but instead of uh, bounce from these ranges we broke these ranges to, uh, with the flying colors and for now we are hovering exactly at the next the lowest uh, range uh, of potential support at 0 0.786 Fibonacci level at 275.84 dollars. So what should we expect next? I will show you in my technical analysis. But for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. What was the reason of this movement to the downside? And uh, first of all, let me show you this article that was published on Market Watch on uh, September 23rd. And it says, Tesla is recalling more than 1 million vehicles over window finger pinching uh, concern. And the subtitle is, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration cites a violation of uh, federal safety standards for power windows, while Tesla says an online software update will fix the problem. And basically, this is the answer that probably it is not the case of why Tesla is moving south. And let me show you another uh, article. We are on uh, MotleyFool.com and this article was published uh, on September 23rd and it's titled Why Tesla dropped as much as 5% Friday. And the key points are following. Investors get excited about Tesla's future potential, but its high valuation still can be ignored. This stock has a PE above 50 based on expectations for 2022 uh, earnings. The tech sector is getting hit hard right now and high valuation stocks will likely be taken down the most. Let me quote you some details right here. Tesla shares are more likely lower over the past two days in the line with the tech sector of the market in general. With Federal Reserve interest rate hike this week, some investors see the risks of recession increasing. A, stocks, uh, a stock like Tesla with a valuation representing a forward price to earnings ratio of about 65 is a prime candidate to get hit the hardest. And let me show you right here if I add uh, the price action of SPY index on this price uh, chart. As you can see, uh, uh, Tesla follows uh, the SPY quite good, but uh, on uh, September 14th uh, we have uh, this movement uh, for the SPY index and uh, Tesla went higher and it retested the range of resistance that I marked previously. And only uh, with the second attempt uh, to break this range we had uh, movement to the downside that was uh, much uh, stronger than the decrease in price of SPY. And definitely this movement is not so good for Tesla because it has quite high volume with this movement to the downside and it doesn't have any retracement at all. So let's continue with uh, some news uh, that uh, also might be not so positive for Tesla. First of all, let me show you this article. We are on teslarati.com and uh, right here you can see that on September 25th we have uh, this article that is titled Why are these so many conflicting reports on Tesla's Giga Berlin battery plans? And uh, the main idea of this article is that it is not uh, the best uh, sign when we have a lot of controversial uh, news uh, from a uh, company that uh, 
is related to the exact same point. And right here you can see that uh, Tesla is putting Giga Berlin's uh, battery plants on hold. Tesla is moving forward with Giga Berlin's battery plants. The conflicting headlines continue and according to the most recent report by Auto News, Tesla is shifting its resources away from Berlin to Texas in order to receive benefits from the Inflation Reduction Act. And definitely, I think it is not uh, the good sign. Basically, it is a, a very bad sign for company when you can see the uncertainty. The uncertainty implies uh, more bearish pressure on any asset. And that's why we have to be cautious with the next movement of Tesla. So, and let me show you the bigger picture from institutional holders of uh, this company. As you can see on Fintel.io, we have a bunch of uh, recent filings that were made on September 23rd. And as you can see, we have uh, more cautious buys than the sales of uh, this stock. But we have to remember that this uh, is only the filing date. And the actual date of uh, this uh, transaction is about uh, 45 days prior than this exact date. And that's why you have to be cautious with this information. You just have to take a closer look uh, on the companies that increasing or decreasing their positions and uh, make uh, your own decisions based on this information. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, what should we expect next? Let me clean the chart a little bit. I don't need the SPY index right now. We have uh, this movement to the downside that hit uh, the lowest range of uh, Fibonacci, of common Fibonacci retracement levels. And uh, right here, as you can see, we don't have any major retracement during these movements uh, to the downside. And uh, because of this, I think that we might have some kind of bounce, because uh, if we will have five-wave structure in this movement to the upside and we hit the range of uh, resistance at $313.5, we should see the retracement uh, to unload this structure. Because if we will take a look on RSI, on 4 hours time frame, we have uh, an RSI at the other sold territory. And we have some kind of character with MACD indicator. This means uh, we might see some kind of bounce. And let me show you that on hourly time frame, if we will take a closer look right here, on in intraday trading session, we can see even a bullish divergence. And bullish divergence is the sign where you can see uh, higher lows on RSI with the lower lows on the price section. This means, in my opinion, uh, on today's uh, trading session, we might see a bounce and this bounce might land. Let me show you more thoroughly. Let me delete unnecessary tools. I don't think that we need uh, this tool anymore. And if I pull the Fibonacci retracement uh, from this highest point to this lowest point, if this range holds, we might land again at uh, the levels of uh, 0 0.236 at the price point of uh, $282.12, and $0.5, it is $292.92. Definitely we might break all these ranges, but in my opinion for now it is too early to make this assumption, because uh, we don't have a bullish divergence on uh, higher time frames, on a 3 hours time frame or 4 hours time frame. This means uh, we don't have much possibilities to see a uh, movement to the upside that will break all of them. That's why we have to be cautious and the upside potential, if this pivot holds, might be uh, the most uh, possible one, might be up to 2% uh, from 2.8% all the way up to 5% and even 6.5%. Definitely it is not the highest gains but uh, it might happen in the uh, upcoming couple of sessions. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack